hi, in this video, I'm going to be covering importing and exporting waveforms from SimView, which is PSIM's native waveform analysis uh, software package. Uh, to start with, I've just got a, a simple circuit here, which is two RC filters uh, being driven by a square wave. Uh, let's quickly run this. So I'll plot VN here, and uh, I can also plot uh, V1 and V2, and we can see what, what they look like. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to save this file as a text file. I'll just go up to File, Save As, and right away I'm given the option to save as a couple other file formats, depending on what sort of package you want to open this up into. I'll just save as a text file, and I'll just call it waveforms. And I'll save it in my temp directory. Okay, so to open that up, I'm just going to pull over Notepad here, and um, I'm going to see uh, my waveform file. I'll just drag that in. And we can see here then that um, we have time VN, V1, and V2. So all the data that was saved from, um, from the simulation is here and easily accessible. Um, there's about 400,000 lines worth of, of data to correspond with the uh, time step that I selected in the simulation runtime. Um, the titles for the data is coming from the first row, so time, VN, V1, V2. If I decide after the fact that I would like V2 to be actually V out, I can make that change here, save, and come to uh, SimView and load in this waveform file. And I see now that I have the option to plot V out. So the next thing I'd like to look at is the import of data into SimView. So to do that, I've started a little spreadsheet in, in a Google Docs here. What I can do is I've just set up a time V1, V2, and I've got some values for time and V1 and V2 here. So um, in, in Google Docs, I have the option to save as a uh, tab separated values uh, sheet. So I'll do that. Just save it to my desktop in the corner there, get that out of the way. Um, and I'll just load this back up into Notepad. Uh, there we see the, the data. Um, I'll save this as a, as a text file. Again, in, um, in temp. And I'll call this um, waveform. Let's call it Google Doc. And now I can just go back and open that waveform up. And let's plot both the values. We can see that uh, PSIM is interpolated um, between the data points. So it's, as per our uh, little waveform file, it was 1 up to 0 0.5. And then it plots from 0 0.5 to 1. And we've got it's filled in the data in between. So it's done a linear interpretation. So then we're 1 from 1, one to 1.5. And then it's interpolated again on the, on the back side. So if we wanted to go in and maybe straighten up this edge so that it was transitioning right after 0.5, we could just simply go back into this waveform file and um, change this to 5.01. And then separate uh, one so we'd get that transition earlier and then just go back into SimView and go back and hit reload data so we see that edge is now cleaned up nicely there uh, so this is available to do for all of um, any waveform in PSIM be it a, a, an FFT or an AC sweep that you've performed in PSIM you just go into file and you can save as and um, all of the various file types that are available for you to save as are, are, are listed out. Uh, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and check back again for more videos.